hello everyone welcome back to my unity open world tutorial series so in this episode i'm gonna fix the problem that i had when jumping uh, the contradiction between jumping and ik system now when i jump there is no problem ik and jump is working together without an issue and also i'm gonna fix this problem so when if i press twice the character does not jump twice he jumps only after landed on again so yeah those are the two problems i am going to address today and this episode is sponsored by these two generous persons people thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me okay so i have enabled this character guy script again and when I start jumping, this shaking thing happens now. And let's research on further how to get rid of that part. So I try to get rid of that by implementing this wait and enable like a approach using by temporarily disabling IK, but still I don't see any good result okay uh, so just to see what's happening let's print this ik value here <coughs> so that we can see what's happening with that what's this let's disable other things we only need to see the k values oh we got a null reference oh, why is that Ah, oh, and the character script. Okay, we need to give the set the reference. I think, I hope that's that was not the reason. yeah it is working now so we could do this last time and yeah so we have this problem if I keep pressing space uh, this character keep jumping so that's not good so now that we have solved the IK problem uh, we should look into that okay how to avoid that multiple double jumping not double multiple jumping before landing so okay mm. so how do we detect we have finished jumping actually we don't really have a way just we just go back to normal state once the jumping animation is finished uh, but instead of doing that let's uh, look another way when I press jump key let's go here okay so let's do jumping only if we are on the ground to detect that <clears throat> we can do a line trace if v6 dot line cast uh, 
and starting position would be transfer to location sorry transform dot position and the endpoint would be uh, transfer to position plus new vector 3 0 mm, minus what's the half height of the character I need to know that to implement this let's see this is characters location and y location is 1.5 so that means if I okay let's move it to zero zero position no no need to do that let's move into this way and let's set only y is zero okay now how much should i lift in order to completely take the character out of the ground it's 0.873 so I'll take as point point 0.9 okay I'll take it as point 0.9 point 0.9 f zero yeah only if we get a hit here the character get to jump so let's see if that works or not he's not jumping anymore why is that No. All right then. Let's make it two. It should definitely work if this approach is right. No, so does that mean line casting not working? Uh, how do I debug this? Uh, let's uh, draw a line here. So that we should be able to see if the line casting is correct. Where well, no line is being rendered. Why is that? Maybe it is drawn in the scene view, I don't know. Let's see. Mm. 
No. Let's print these values just to check if we see anything suspicious. Eleven point nine, one point two, minus one point two, and one point seven. It seems all right. Then what's the issue? Well, well. yeah, I think something is wrong with this ground object. Yeah, uh, something is wrong with the uh, collision settings of the ground object. I'm not sure. So let's uh, move the character here and see if it is working. All right, it is working. So if I, okay, now I can reduce this value, it should be I don't need this now minus 0 0.9 <coughs> okay now it doesn't jump until the character is on the ground again see I smashed the button but it jumps only once okay and I'll stop this episode at this point and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patron club link would be in the description below and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye